Hey, you want to know my weekly hair care routine as a hairstylist? Keep watching. Today, I'm going to tell you what I personally do as a hairstylist, what my routine is, and I will show you some of the products that I use, okay? Every week, this is what I do. What's up, everyone? My name is Becca, and I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're coming back. <laughs> so everyone has different opinions on how many times that you should wash your hair in a week. I have my own theories. I have what works for me. So if you want to know my recommendations as a hairstylist, stay to the end because I will tell you what I think is a good amount of time in between washes. I am a mom of two. I also have a YouTube channel. I have a lot going on, right? So this is my weekly routine as a, like, ha, with someone that has a full schedule. Here's how it starts. And if you can guess how many days it's been since I've washed my hair today, <laughs> leave a comment, okay? So how it starts is I work Wednesday through Saturday, four days a week. And what I normally do is I wash my hair before work on Wednesday. I wash my hair, shampoo. Shampoo right now that I'm using most regularly is Bond Density by Kerastase. I've done a whole review video on this hair product and the matching conditioner, Fondant Density. This is usually my go-to right now for shampoo and conditioner. Every once in a while, I will replace my conditioner with the Strength Cure, Pureology Strength Cure Superfood Mask because I do have some balayage left on my ends that sometimes they just need a little help, okay? So I'll use this in, like, instead of this, every couple washes. Then what I do, these are all the products I put in my hair before I dry, <laughs> except I forgot one at home, so I'll just pop a picture of it. <laughs> my handy dandy, trusted, loyal, favorite, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, Bumble and Bumble, uh, Heat Protection, Primer. This is just like one of my go-tos. My other favorite is Pureology's 21 Benefits. Color Fanatic, that's also one that kind of matches this. My primer and my heat protectant, I want it to do more than just heat protection. So that's why I love this product. I recommend this. Love it, get it, buy it, link below. And then I put at my root a volumizer so uh, right now i'm using the volumista by orbe i spray it at my root and then just spritz it a little bit in throughout my ends that's my styler those are my two products i put in my hair before the reason i do this is heat protection anti-frizz anti-humidity um, helps my style with longevity and the volumizer like thickening root lifter spray just so when i blow dry my hair I get that volume and I get that hold in my hair before I dry it. Very important if you want your style to last multiple days. Then what I do is I usually will blow dry it smooth with my Hot Tools One Step blow dryer. I just get it dry and voluminous as possible, as quickly as possible, because usually I'm on a time crunch. And then I finish with a one inch curling iron. And so a lot of the times on day one, my hair is down. I have some soft like beachy waves in it. Some of my favorite texture sprays, I can't live without texture spray. Um, IGK Beach Club, one of my faves. And the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. This puppy is in so if you have thin hair, this might overwhelm you, <laughs> but I love it. It is like very texturizing. So these two are my texturizers. I will spray this in all over. This one a little bit more sparingly than this one, but I spray it all over and then I brush through my curls with my fingers. I just finger comb my curls. And then sometimes I'll hit it with a little hairspray. Just a little bit right now. This is the Pureology Soft Finish Hairspray. I like it. I'm getting a new one once this runs out because I'm kind of over it. Um, I, I might switch to like Spray to Mode by Bumble and Bumble or switch to um, an Orbe hairspray because I really like their, they have like a super fine misted hairspray that I really have been liking at the salon. So I'll probably get that once this runs out. And that's it, that's day one. So then day two, what do I do? I try and get another down day out of my style. I don't put it up yet or I don't style it. What I like to do is add a little bit more volume back into my style with my texturizer spray. And then for my ends, usually I'm using hair oil with heat protection in it. Right now I'm using the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. I have actually really liked this. <laughs> I did a whole review on Olaplex like a couple videos back and not a huge fan of the shampoo and conditioner, but I have been liking the bonding oil. It's comparing pretty well to my Kerastase elixir oil that I like 
love. But when I ran out of that, I knew I wanted to try a different oil or try and find one that's comparable, but not as uh, at the same price point as the Kerastase. And so I tried this one. I'm actually really liking it and it has the 450 degrees of heat. So day two, re-texturize at my root and put in a little bit of hair oil to help with the heat protection because yes, I do add some more curls with my one inch curling iron back into my towel because usually they've fallen out after sleeping on them and whatever. Day three, my hair starts to like need a little extra help. Sometimes I'll do a style like this. So I have like this little twisted side thing where I tie it into a ponytail and then I flip it around and then twist it and then it kind of stays behind my ear. So it's like that tucked far over part um, look without having to like tuck it or bobby pin it. It's just like there. So this is something that works really well for me at the salon because when I'm blow drying and my hair starts to get like flat and like starts to get oily, I need something. So usually it goes up or I put it like half up in one of those coily hair tie things and either do a bun, like twist it around, do like a little bun with some of these pieces out. I'll do a style like this. So day four, what I normally do is a low slick bun because a lot of the times by this point it's like girl you should have probably washed your hair this morning but you go to work you have to be at the salon at 7 30 on the saturday who wants to wake up before you go to work <laughs> and do your hair nobody and i'm not gonna do a friday night because usually i'm hanging out with my family or going on a date with my husband so i ain't got time Okay, Saturdays are the rough days. Okay, if you come to see me at the salon on a Saturday, my hair looks janky. It's because I haven't washed it in four days. So usually it goes up. So that's my wash routine. The next time I wash it is usually Saturday after work, because it's disgusting by that point, or Sunday morning. That's my next wash. And then on my off days, usually I let it air dry and then sometimes I'll style it with some heat, but it's pretty rare. I try to give it like a little bit of a break, give myself a break from having to style my hair because I have to do it every day. My go-to products on my off days are usually my hair oil and my texturizing spray. And then I don't wash it again until Wednesday. So yeah, I go, I wash my hair twice a week. That's what I do and that's what's worked for me and my schedule and like where I'm at in my life and working four days a week at the salon. So what do I think is like the good rule of thumb? There's so many theories out there and scroll on TikTok for five seconds on hair talk and you'll find so many different theories on what your wash routine should be. So I'm just gonna tell you what I recommend for people. If you're someone that works out a lot, you're probably gonna wash your hair every day or every other day. That's just the nature of it. If you're sweating a lot, if you have a labor, like physically active job, you're probably gonna wash your hair every day or every other day. Am I gonna yell at you? No, because that's just what it works for your lifestyle, okay? If that is you, I'm gonna recommend that you use a hair mask like once a week or once every other week because washing that much, you're stripping your hair of your natural oils and it might just get dry over time. The majority of people can probably go a few days in between washes and it's not gonna look like a fresh blowout every time you have your hair styled, okay? Because it just doesn't work like that. I guess the moral of the story is do what you want. Like if you wanna get a few more days out of your wash so that your products last longer or if you feel like your hair needs it, like wait a few days. But if you're someone that's like, I can't wash my hair every four days, like it gets too oily. Okay, wash it every three, wash it every two. Like it's so custom to what your hair does that I don't feel like there can be a blanket rule for how often you should wash your hair. Really, your scalp needs to be cleansed. So if you're using a lot of product, if you're swimming, if you're sweating, your scalp really needs to be cleansed, which is why you need to shampoo your hair. Your ends don't really need shampoo. It's your scalp that needs to be cleansed. And if you're using a lot of product, I would say add a clarifying shampoo to get that product build up off your hair every couple of weeks. But I don't think there is perfect solution. It's like what works with your life style and what you want to do. If you haven't yet made your guess on how many days it's been since I've washed my hair. Today it has been three days since I have washed my hair and I am struggling. <laughs> took me a minute to like style this because I was like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go film a YouTube video about my weekly hair care wash routine and I'm like on day three and it looks a little janky jank. So I put some dry shampoo in there, which I don't normally use. I haven't found like a dry shampoo that I absolutely love. So I just, you know, I put a powder dry shampoo that I had in my closet. So I did that. It did like, okay job. And then I flipped my part so you can't see like right 
down my part and looks oily and greasy. And then I did my little side style. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications every time I post new videos. If you have any questions about my weekly routine, drop a comment. If you've been struggling knowing what to do, drop a comment. I try really hard to get to all my comments. I'll see you guys in the comment section or over on my Instagram or over on my TikTok or in the next video. Bye.